What's up YouTube? It's Master Aquatics and I'm bringing you guys another video just doing a quick little update on my fry tank. So it is currently day 7. They should be free swimming here in a day or so. Um, they're moving around a lot more frequently now. Um, some of them are actually swimming for a little bit and then sticking to surfaces and whatnot. So somebody asked me, you know, when do you start doing your hatching of baby brine shrimp? Well, um, as you can see, that one is trying to swim. So like I said, you know, a few of them are trying to do that. Um, usually I'll start doing it whenever they start swimming like this, but the early indicator that I use the most is when I start seeing their eyes and their eyes are like really defined. Now my camera is not going to be able to focus, well you can kind of see their eyes, they're kind of black. Um, when you're able to see their eyes and then you see the eggs, uh, egg yolk sacs um, really small, that's when you want to start um, preparing baby brine shrimp in advance. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now Preparing baby brine shrimp is pretty easy. You can pretty much use any type of container that's going to be able to hold salt and baby brine shrimp in some water. Now, I'm improvising and I'm using an old coffee pot that nobody uses in my household. So I'm going to go ahead and hatch baby brine shrimp in here. Now, I did mention in my previous video that I was going to order something that was going to make feeding these guys easier while I'm away at work. It actually turns out I will not be getting that until sometime early May and I was a little disappointed in that because now I have to go back and using the uh, getaway of making food for my baby angelfish but no biggie. I'm gonna do what it takes to get these guys to grow and keep them alive. So I'm going to use some of this salt here. So now that I got my water and my salt, I'm gonna go ahead and put in some baby brine shrimp. Now in the beginning you don't want to put too much baby brine shrimp in here. Reason being is that um, when they first become free swimming they're not going to eat right away. It's gonna take them a while to recognize baby brine shrimp as a food source. It'll take them about a few days um, so a lot of the baby brine shrimp will go uneaten. Um, they will eat a few, but they won't eat vigorously like they will um, when they become free swimming after a few days. So it takes them a while. So I'm just going to put in a little bit. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to have like a successful hatch rate. So I'm going to put a decent amount, but not too much. So I'm going to put in like that much. There we go. I'd say that's a good amount. Um, usually I would like maybe double that if I knew that they were eating and if I had a good uh, hatching routine going on I would double that amount definitely but this will do for right now. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take this outside and I'm gonna have it set up and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Alright guys so I got my air pump here and you'll need this to hatch your baby brine shrimp now, I'm actually going to hatch them inside of my room. Um, I'm not going to hatch them outside today because it's a little chilly today. It should warm up here in the next few days. Um, but all I did here was I attached an airline tube into one of the sockets here. And at the end of the airline, I attached an air stone. Now what you're going to do now is you're going to place this down in the center just like so now what this does is it's going to create movement and aeration inside of this container um, you'll need that in order to hatch the eggs they won't hatch um, you'll, you won't have a good hatch rate if you don't um, have movement within this container um, the only thing that I don't like about this is that the majority of the eggs stick to the glass, like as you can see there. But that's why I was trying to order something to be more efficient for feeding my angelfish fry, but this will do. But anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this on so you guys can see what it looks like. 
Alright guys, so this is what it should look like. I got the air stone in there. It's blowing out bubbles. It's moving the eggs around. So, now all I gotta do is wait. It's gonna take about 24 to 30 something hours for them to hatch. Time frame varies. Um, time frame varies um, depending on temperature. So, I always say the best time to hatch baby brine shrimp is it during the summer when it's really hot outside. Um, what I like to do is I like to hatch them outside in my backyard and they'll hatch really quickly like within 18 to 20 something hours they'll hatch really quick but when it's cold and I gotta hatch them in here at like room temperature kinda takes them about a full 24 hour cycle um, but that's okay because I don't think the fish are gonna be swimming anytime soon they might start swimming in the next 20 to 25 30 hours so I still got plenty of time now somebody was telling me that I should baby proof the hang on the back filter um, I've done this in the past and all it did was restrict airflow and the uh, the babies would still like get stuck to the pantyhose netting I was using I've used this before and I've seen people on YouTube use this and this didn't work for me but I guess I'm gonna try and give it another shot I've drilled like this little hole in here and I'm going to insert the uh, tube intake of the filter through here and I'm gonna see how that works so I'm gonna go ahead and do that alright so I went ahead and baby proofed my hang on the back filter um, I'm not sure if this will work hundred percent but it hasn't worked for me in the past but maybe I did something wrong back then so I'm gonna give it another go um, if I see that babies are sticking to it then I'm gonna have to turn off the filter again the reason, I, the reason why I want this on is because I want to minimize water changes I mean I'll still do them you know every day but in case you know like I have to work a lot or if I get really really busy and I have to miss a day or two I can have my hang on the back filter as backup um, so that they survive a little bit longer or whatnot. but yeah so I think I'm ready I mean I got the Hang on the back filter, baby proof. And then I got my baby brine shrimp hatchery going on here. So now all I gotta do is wait for these guys to all start swimming and uh, raise them and take care of them and get them growing. And, and as soon as that starts happening, I will make another video and update you guys. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, and bye-bye.